Okay, welcome back. And our next guest has been repeatedly honored for her exceptional culinary skills and her contributions to the, and she's owner of the Brown Sugar Kitchen. She has uh, made a lot of contributions to the city of Oakland here, right here in California, in mm -hmm. San Francisco. And we want to welcome Chef Tanya Holland to our home. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. And congratulations Great to be on here. All the wonderful things that you have done to bring your whole community together. Oh, it's been fun. It's sort of what my parents raised me doing, you know, bringing people together over food. Yeah. That's you know, so is what I, I know. I wanna, I just, I'm going to see if you know. Where do I normally sit in these segments? Uh, over at there? the counter. Where yes. am I today? You're right here. Right. What are we serving you today? Miss any? We're serving something sweet and char uh, pudding. Uh, we're doing some that kind of pudding. That should explain so that's why, why I'm standing here and not over yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, great. It's but, uh, this looks amazing. It Thank does. you. This is so well, my I get lots of different inspirations for my recipes. This one was inspired by my dad's love for banana pudding. So I grew up, but the banana pudding with the wafers out of the box and the pudding mm -hmm. from the mix, you know. My mother is from the generation of convenience, but I wanted to do this all from scratch. So but that's what we're gonna do. Before we get into this, Tanya, I want yes. to, uh, I, I noticed that you have the key to the city of Oakland. There's a reason why your story is really wonderful and how you wanted to open up your restaurant, but you didn't have the funds at the time to do it. So you opened it up in the, probably the worst section. One of the worst, Please yes. Please continue, <laughs> and what happened? Well, it, you know, it was just, I call it the little restaurant that could. It's in the middle of this industrial area. There was, it used to be a truck stop, and uh, there was a kitchen there, and it was five blocks from my house. Uh, my husband and I bought this condo. It was the real estate we could afford at the time. And I went in there thinking, like, well, I'll do some great coffee and some baked goods. And it took off and kind of wow. started this whole renaissance in, the, uh, renaissance in the area. Some new places have popped up, a lot more residents, people walking their dogs, their families. And it's great. Yeah. Really and you can great say that was your plan, wasn't it? Yeah, that yeah, was like, a plan all along. I wish I had that changed foresight. The world. All right. Yeah. But we're, it's been great. We're going to ask everyone uh, to please indulge and we're going to serve the what is it we're making we're making a pudding what's it yes. called caramelized banana yeah. pudding there you go yeah. everybody's you only gonna get have, one yeah, only okay. one because yes. you eat everything and uh, while they're eating it and enjoying it you're going to show everyone how to make it so I'm let's get started just how simple it is okay. all right we're going to start by making the actual pudding okay and i have some egg yolks here but first we have to uh warm up the milk these I'm so not used to this, by the way. I'm normally <laughs> eating by now. Yeah, I know. Right in the segment. Want, I really want here. Well, this is yeah. and this oh, is such I, a oh. user-friendly uh, recipe. You can even make it. I'm sure, Mark. Uh, vanilla and sugar. See that? She said even she's, you can make it, Mark. She's a, a little, a little salt. Well, I heard, you know. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna whisk in oh my this flour, which oh, is a thickening wow. agent. So good. I'm like, so impressed. Now nobody's gonna want to watch. All of, this, all of this is from scratch. Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. The cookies. Yeah. And Tanya, she said I could. It. <laughs> Tanya, what? So you can't. Happening. Tanya, what is that little spice that's in there? Do you know that that's, green? That's vanilla. Oh, and there's the a green. little bit of mint um, just oh, to garnish really it. Delicious. So once everything is warmed up, I just want to show you it. Um, I'm warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm, go. I'm going to temper the egg yolks with this warm liquid. Mm. Liquid, And by tempering, that means just slowly adding the warm liquid so that the egg yolks don't we scramble. Don't scrambled eggs. Right, because we want nice, smooth pudding. Oh, so so really, really you know. slowly. This is probably like the most, you know, sophisticated technique in the rest in the recipe, and it's not even, you know, it's really easy. You no, just have to practice, right? You can no. do that, right? And normally we have to temper Matt. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Temper me from. I know no. you're so, probably gonna want some more too. And now you can yeah. see this is what it looks like once it's pudding, nice and thick. And Christina, will you oh. please go get in the refrigerator our finished product so I can just show people. What it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> you made the, you made the too. I heard about that great yeah, music. Yeah, right. have that. Did you make these Excellent. cookies too? Nisi, yes. I brought a question. Or I said, did you, the cookies are homemade too? Absolutely. They the are made. Are they're like delicious, a refrigerator cookie, so it's sugar and flour and butter mm -hmm. with some vanilla seed in it, and then you make a log and slice them and bake them. It's going to be on simple. our website, by the way. So the you pudding, so you want to make sure you cover it with this plastic so you don't get that thick kind of skin on it, you know, right. that you get in pudding. The plastic. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. Um, after you make uh, this warm mixture, you strain it, goes in the ice bath, then we're going to refrigerate it, 
And we're a little bit of ahead of the game. That's so right. I feel that like ready. I've been wrapped up in my mommy's arms. <laughs> with this. You know, I feel so at home. So, so I was raised on banana pudding, and this oh. is a whole well, my new dad's level. from Virginia, oh. and my Isn't mom's it? from Louisiana. Mm. So that's, you know, how I, mean, I got my start. And because it has bananas, Absolutely. it's healthy, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> are you eating the second one, Dr. Matt? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> now, now what, Tanya? What do we Every, do? Everybody's nutrition is out the window right now. Yeah, right now. So now we're going to caramelize the bananas. And, of course, in some brown sugar. because brown sugar. Brown sugar, uh, kitchen, a little bit of uh, salt, and that a little bit of butter. Adds so oh. And again, whenever you're cooking sweets, a little bit of salt just kind of enhances the flavor, kind of balances it. So then we add the bananas and caramelize them. And we put all together. <laughs> At the end of the day, I love the presentation too because this little jar is adorable. Isn't, Isn't that cute? Anything yeah. served in a mason jar is comfort food. Yeah, straight it away. It's true. Well, that that's is. like straight out of the book. The recipe. Oh wow! Don't Thank judge you. me. <laughs> you that's it. on so a happy second you're one. Enjoying it. Did you help her? I, I don't eat sugar. And no. I'm this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I like nothing better than feeding people. I'm getting people, to the bottom so. of it. I think she helped me and giving me more. It's really good. The bananas caramelized for about five to seven minutes. It's uh, really just trying to get a nice little sugary crust on it. And then we layer the pudding. Yeah, well, you had bananas. a beautiful display here, <laughs> Tanya. <laughs> and we I ruined did. it because I I could wait. Mark ate one and Still got one left. I ate one and I can there have it is. and make sure that it, it works, yeah. right? Right. And then these are our cookies. Oh, I know. Do you know what the problem is? There's only oh. two left. Extra cookies. Hey. Uh, <laughs> They're really good. I know. I, we've been eating so, it. So, anyways, we just opened a bakery called B Side Bakery. It's sort of a uh, affiliate of our restaurant, Brown Sugar Kitchen. We serve these baked goods um, at the restaurant and at the bakery. So, if anybody comes to Oakland, right? How could you get not, this every day? How could you not improve a community with this? Well, I mean, you get this and you're happy. Well, one yeah. of the reasons why wow. I refer to Oakland as Sweet West Oakland because it's sort of like a little play on yeah. words. You know, Oakland isn't always known for right. being a sweet Pretty area, but we yeah. have really helped kind of turn well, around. Now people well, look at Oakland and they think good things this about it. This pudding is so good. Eating it could make you suffer through a Raiders game. Oh, <laughs> oh don't say that to my Marcus and his faders. Don't say that. Go back to town. <laughs> well, we want you all to know that all of our guests here and today, since you're bringing your family, your other family with you, Matt, everybody gets a copy of her cookbook. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And yes, a special treat. And for you two, I brought you. We're known for our waffles, oh. so I brought you a waffle Will shirt. You come back Just when I thought waffles? it couldn't get better. I didn't huh? bring any waffles with me, but I brought you a t-shirt. Will you come back and do waffles? Absolutely. 